Jack, there's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathed down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. I think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. All units, 88K. We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Shoot it, cop, you little prick. Get that bastard, Cole. Now ain't the time to be looking for a profit, asshole. Commander will want us at the scene. Let's go. Jesus. I never seen nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta delayed, Bell. Get delayed somewhere? What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, brother. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. It you think it went okay? A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We you get oh. better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Should have faded a little more. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as, uh, very resolute. I thought four fix was a tough break. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup, a Viking helmet. How would I know, Phelps? Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. There's not much more we can do here, Detective. It doesn't appear to be connected.
Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. Phelps. Tomoko Akamato. Japanese name. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. It's an address, 133 North Vermont Avenue. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. I don't think so. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it. 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tomoko Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Hmm. 
How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. You think McClellan went up in smoke, or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tomoko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. I'm working on it. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. The closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. You're behind the wheel. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? So I turned the plate. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch, favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Could 
be a class rank. This is Biggs. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamura. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. So what next? Let's get down to the laundry and see if we can trace McLellan. I can't wait to see what he has in his icebox. Can you drive to this one? What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was, uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks for your help.
Out of the car, it's an emergency. Military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right, so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hang. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was. Follow me. Good day, miss. really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the boy. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them for my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? And her? Hmm. McClellan's process was going to replace all this. Great. 
Don't you need coordinates or something for that thing, Cole? You're flying blind. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Seven. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motor. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. Junk. Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, bro. You know the way. You can drive. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. You would have middlemen dealing with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes.
Any messages for me, Hopkins? Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out, mostly. Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. This guy was willing to ride his own mother after I'd sweat. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices in place. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? My eyesight? Help me with a little experiment. Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Okay, guys, just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. He was in the bathtub. He'd taken one of his fingers. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes, and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? Great big hole in the ground.
extra. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Angstrom is flying today on TWA. Angstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. I need you to be closer, Phelps! Get in close and steer them off the top. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Lay into his wheel well, come on!
Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. Throw out the guns. We gotta get these guys. Stay down. You're fucking up. Find the cover. Suppressing fire. And it's the electric chair. He wants to play cat and mouse? Fine. Let's go and get his ass. Cover! I'm covering you! Stay down. explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But the 
between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, might just have made the case of the decade. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you, too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger, and it's making me stronger, healthy. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> They're both finding we have a lot to give up. And what is that? In my case, you, you went through hell along with me, still came out smiling. Kelso? Yes. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Or thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, Doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at that club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven in the next life. Gotta be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints.
help you? How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Wow, that sure looks like a beauty. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah, he lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks.
Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Good doctor has been marking this map. Edgewood Grove. McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Ethan. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which... I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Norman the Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of Jim Kelso. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. So much for your foresight, Doctor.
Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Advice? We need to find Elsa. There must be something that links the big guy to the shrink. Not sure this means much. Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? The worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Nobody's home. Most guys bring home a forty five or an M one. This is pretty extreme.
Quite a flock you got here, kid. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Faces. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Oh my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. KGPL. 11K, we see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, handle 23. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. these guys own.
this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail-safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And do you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Keep on going, Jack. Soon as he pokes his head out. How long do you think you can hold out? Christ, just missed. Somebody 
tag that son of a bitch! That's it, out of ammo. <laughs> Throw out the gun! his head out and step on it. You want me? You got me. I know, but he's around here somewhere. Catch a bullet, you son of a bitch! That's it, out of ammo. The water's rising. Are you okay, Princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. 
I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everybody knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Biggs will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Maniac! They're burned to a crit! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! Ah! I'm out of morphine! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Phelps to an aid station. Weapons team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Hear, hear. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Run! You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective 
who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend.
How about this for a headline? Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, he didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge. Wife and kids in tow and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. You know, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. Can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. 
I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the sixth have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing.